we've seen a very fast, efficient, and streamlined development of the vaccine, which is which is incredible and groundbreaking science. But at the same time, it has led to a lot of questions and perhaps some skepticism around: Is it safe? Did is there been enough research? Can you sort of shed some light onto that on the process and whether or not it is safe? So. Thanks, Joanne, for that question. Uh, that's a really important question because, you know, one of the things, as you mentioned, we've seen in this pandemic is that the COVID vaccine has been developed in record time. The, it's been at, developed at a very high pace. But I will say that no corners have been cut in developing this vaccine. The reason that you know, we've seen such rapid development is because a lot of resources and a lot of funding has gone into the development of this vaccine. I mean, every single uh, person who knows anything about vaccination has been working on, on a COVID vaccine. So, so the rapid pace is not concerning. In fact, it's an excellent thing that has, that has happened. The, in terms of the safety of the vaccines, you know, the vaccines have uh, been trialed in clinical trials, have, have enrolled thousands of patients. So uh, even with the, the first two, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, it's over 70,000 people have been enrolled in these studies before the, the vaccines were licensed. And I can tell you that that number is way over what we would see in a normal vaccine study. So in a normal vaccine study, we might see, you know, 16 or 20,000 people being enrolled. This is definitely more than what we have seen. So because of that, we have more safety information. And I can tell you that the, these vaccines um, are safe. They've been reviewed by, in Canada by Health Canada and in the United States by the FDA. And everybody has looked in detail at all the side effects and have deemed them to be safe. The side effects of these vaccines are um, similar to other vaccines like the flu shot. The side effects are very uh, similar you know, and, and I think we have n nothing really to worry about in terms of, in terms of getting these vaccines. The great, the size and scale of those studies is, is very, very reassuring and good to hear. Can you shed some light on how, you know, what's the safety for, for transplant can, uh, recipients specifically? So, you know, these vaccines were, are, have not been trialed in transplant recipients. So when the first phase three trials were done, they did, they did not include anyone who was on immune suppressing uh, medications or anyone who had an immune suppressing condition. So in that sense, we actually don't have information on the safety of uh, these vaccines, in particular in, in transplant uh, recipients. However, one thing I'll say is that you know, we have been using vaccines in general in, in the transplant population for a long time without actually having specific information. So, you know, we, we offer a new pneumonia vaccine, we offer flu shots without really any specific transplant related information. And, and all those vaccines are, have been safe. So there's no reason to believe that the COVID vaccine would be any less safe in a transplant population than in the general population. We are getting data now from United States that where they are vaccinating their transplant recipients, there's uh, small numbers, but we are getting data that People have received their first and second doses. Transplant recipients have gotten first and second doses of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, and there have not been any unexpected side effects. So I think that's actually very reassuring. And I think in the next few weeks, we're going to see more information um, from our neighbors to the south and also from Europe that, that's coming out. And perhaps that's a, a silver lining in our in our vaccine rollout stage that we can look at our friends around us and see the research there. 
And how about the the safety for transplant candidates or people on the wait list? Wait list should is the vaccine safe for them? Right. So again. There's no reason to believe the vaccine would have any different side effects in people, you know, in people who are waiting for transplants. You know, one thing that I will mention if you are waiting for a transplant is that if, if your turn comes, you should really go ahead and get the vaccine. And, you know, because I, I have been hearing that, you know, should, should I wait uh, for my transplant? Should I get, my, get the vaccine after having the transplant? So I, I will just say to that, that if your turn comes, go ahead and, and get the vaccine. Definitely don't, don't wait.